again. Hey guys, it's Rockerallet. Today we're gonna make a video on the Plant vs Zombies, a big adventure. Oh yeah, and this is just an opinion. Uh, if you disrespect him, um, yeah, 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 it, it's fine. Uh, I respect you. Tier list. Basically, these are all the 99 plants from the game, and they all look garbage. And yeah, there's pretty much 99 plants. I tried them all to see how good they are, and here's my think of all of them. Now, let's just get started real quick. Um, the pea shooter, um, it's your basic defender. I mean, it's pretty obvious it's not going to be that great, so it's going to be bad. There's better ones out there, like, there's, a, there's even cheap ones that are way better. For example, Flowser, yeah, that, that one's pretty good. Sunflowers, um, uh, I mean, you're gonna use this, but honestly, twin sunflowers are way better. This, I mean, it's just a basic sun producer. The walnut is your defense. I guess it's, um, I mean, there's, like, better ones, like, the dirt, the, the spiky fruit guy, I forgot his name. Explorer Knight is definitely good. Uh, tree guy, yeah, he's good. Um, so he's gonna be bad here for that. Uh, potato mine's okay, he's good. Good damage, I mean, I do think... Shadow mine's better, but uh, you can still be good. Um, cabbage pole. Um, I mean, it's kind of useless because in ancient Egypt, like, there's all zombies that with block carriers, and they go ruin him. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're probably gonna use this guy over here, blue meringue, but yeah, he isn't. Uh, um, actually, he's a bad tier to be honest. Uh, there's bear pulse. Although I think Colonel Corn's worse. Uh, Blue Meringue is okay. He's good. Uh, it's just Strike Through. Not sure if I could say Laser Beam's better, but yeah. Snow Pea is um, okay tier. There's better Ice Plants, but Ice Queen I don't think is that great. Uh, but I'll tell you later why. Um, it, it's still a good plant, but trust me. Um, Grave Buster, I mean, its, mo its purpose is to destroy graves. I mean, it, it's a good plant for destroying them, that's really just its purpose. Bonk joint is oh so an okay tier list, it's your typical fighting guy. Um, there's bear ones out there. Yeah, like, this guy, he's the best now, I'll tell you why. Um, what else? Repeaters, oh so, okay. Uh, I would say maybe the runner piece better, but um, it's still good. Like, trust me. Actually, I'll put in good tier. Actually, no, there's like plants that I think are better, but yeah, you know. Ice Room's good tier. It freezes all zombies and it lasts forever. It's definitely a good plant and I recommend using it. Well, not really often, but you know. Could be good for some crowd control, like those imps. Twin sunflowers, please don't nerf me. It's a really good plant sun producer plant makes like 75 sun i think uh, i like the primal sunflowers like 50 sun this one's like um 75 so yeah although it is a little bit expensive but i mean i guess you should just bring mushroom in case for you know zombies colonel paul is absolutely garbage it got a nerf and it sucked because sun price gone and the damage is just garbage and Oh, it's just bad. It's actually worse than the Plant vs. Versus Zombies 1 version. Uh, Spring Beam's also pretty garbage. It used to be pretty good, actually. I mean, would have called it the best, but, you know, it was more like a good tier. But when Tom nerfed its recharge, it was just useless. Honestly, Snapdragon's bad. Um, and the reason why I say that is because... Actually, no, it's... Uh, okay. It's a good plant. I mean, there's a worse version, like... Um, yeah, definitely him because of his damage. Um, spike weeds. Um, okay, it's a good plant, but like, uh, I guess zombies can't like kill it, but it's it's kind of buggy. Same for spike rock. So spike rock is okay for that long recharge. Quite expensive. Coconut cans. Okay, tier list. And you know, what, let me just rank these up. Um, let me just. Um, I move. Oh, okay, um, I'll put you there, I'll put you there, I'll put you there, i put you, so piece the best, um, uh, I think it should be like, um, Grave Buster, what are you doing here? Go! Yeah, I think it'll be like that, um, Free Peter's Garbage, but, uh, what, what's Spring Beam? 
Yeah, he's worse. Spring Beam is absolutely worse. Free Peter only shoots when in one direction, so it's pretty dumb. I mean, yeah, Free Peach do show up in others, but only when it detects one zombie that one direction, so yeah. Cherry Bomb's a good tier. Um, it, it's a good plan. It got some nerfs, but it's still good. Um, might as well put Hive and Ice Shroom. Split P is bad, and honestly, I don't think it. This is kind of useless because there's just better options to get rid of that weird, annoying zombie like Bok Choy and Snapdragon. So yeah, uh, Jalapeno would be um, okay, bull. It's a good plant, there's just better options really, like Cherry Bomb. Lightning Reed is absolutely the worst! Well, Spring Beam's still the worst. It's just garbage damage, it is useless. Just use a Pichu, it's, it's actually... Pichu's actually better than him. Peapod's, um... Uh, I'll put him okay. It's expensive. I, I, I think you should go with, um... Gatling, or... This one, who... I forgot its name, but it's really good. I'll tell you soon, uh, later. Melon Pole's a good tier. Uh, I'll put him um, over there. It's a good plan, but there's better options actually, so I'll put him in okay tier list. Torna is actually pretty good. There's some annoying zombies out there, and he's really good at pretty much just rooting it alive, so yeah. Pull Watch is also a good tier list. It's pretty obvious why it's good. Double the damage, double the, you know, just better. Winter Paul is. Um, Winter Paul. Winter Melon is. Uh, please don't know. It's a good plan. I mean, it's pretty obvious why. Although it doesn't have splash damage like the regular in this game, but it's still good. Blouser would be. Please don't nerf me. It's, good, it's cheap, it's good damage, it shoots fast. It's a pretty good plant to use. Um, laser Beam would be okay to your list. Um, I think I'll put this one higher, to be honest. I mean, it's just Bloomerang, but it shoots a little bit fast. I mean, is it really worth the extra sun? No. I mean, you're right, this plant is, um, um, I guess okay. Like Grave Buster, it's just, just meant for one world. And Blova is also, um... Um, I mean, it, it's good for other, like, taking out some zombies, but I don't, there's not really much as flying zombies, to be honest, so I think I'll put it in bad, lol. I'm not saying it's the worst, but, you know, it's just good bad. Citron is S tier. Gooder, please don't nerf me. It, fr Tom, apparently Tom said that he nerfed it and it's garbage, but I decided to test it. I tested it on the most powerful zombie in the game. What well, the zombie with the most health being... Temple Guardian. You on like free shot it, so it is still OP. Uh, magnifying glasses um, uh, is a scam. Ba garbage damage, too expensive to place. And yeah, power literally it got it got cost enough, so I'll be putting it at good tier list. It's basically just more expensive. Mushroom is obviously. Um, Please don't nerf me. He got he even got, it got lots of nerfs, but it's still powerful. So it seems like Tom can never stop him. Sunshroom's good. Um, not much I could explain. I mean, there's Primal Sunflower, and to be honest, um, Primal Sunflower and Twin Sunflower is just better to use. Sky Shroom's actually pretty good. I used him uh, off off screen, and he's actually pretty powerful. He's just Pichu, but way cheap. He definitely seems like a good option. Although Pushroom, I think is better, but still. 
Shroom shrooms oh so really good. Um I'll put him in fact, I'll put him over Torchwood. Um, it's a pretty good plan. I mean, it's also cheap. I mean, just a little bit more, but you know, still good. Plus, that's a um, strike through damage, so yeah, I go through zombie. Wood Arch is honestly kind of bad. Um, it got it got a buff, but still bad. It, it's just Citron with less damage and more health, basically. But I don't get it. I don't think it's really that good. Uh, we got the 5P. The 5P is okay. Um, maybe I'll put it higher computer. Actually, I'll put this. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just there. Coffee bean is bad. Uh, I mean, how would I fix this? Um, wait, what? Not... Yeah, I'm gonna put in. Uh... Yeah, I'll put it over there. I mean, you don't need it. Trust me. Um, Hypno Shroom's actually pretty powerful in this game. Basically, it's like that um, plant, like the Zoy Bean. Yeah, it's basically Zoy Bean. It's actually pretty OP. Um, I mean, the way it, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I'll put it over. Sun Shroom should actually be here. But like, yeah, like that. Um, hot Potato is bad. I mean, I get its use, but honestly. I mean, it's a fun mechanic with the idea of, like boost fire plants, but um, it's uh, I don't know. I don't think. I mean, I don't think it's enough in my opinion. I mean, there's that pear dude over there, but yeah. I mean, just use the pear guy instead of hot potato. I mean, I understand with the cost, but you know, chili pepper used to be the worst to be honest, but. Uh, it got a cool, it got a buff, and it now costs 25 sun, but, uh, there's ice shroom that costs 20, 75 sun, it freezes all plants, I mean zombies, wow, um, chili pepper over here, I think that's his name, or cold pepper, I'm just gonna call cold pepper, cold pepper is like, um, doesn't even do all, I mean, this one, this is only like 50 extra sun more, just freeze all, this is just one lane, so, I'm gonna put this in the bat, in the garbage tier list, for that, Slow Shroom is garbage because you can't use it in any boat. It's pretty OP, but Tom ruined it. Chargard is bad. It's also garbage. Um, it's new. It's like they Tom changed it and it was really weird. Um, I did not like it. Uh, Stunion is also garbage. It's basically OP like Slow Shroom, but um, you can't use it in other worlds. Like, how come you can use Gold Leaf in other worlds? Like, that's so weird. Also, Gold Leaf is garbage. Um, oh, he's worse than Coffee Bean. I'll put him here. It's just too, his recharge is too long. All right, this guy, the red guy. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's there. This one's also pretty good. I'll put him in. Uh, he's the highest. Um, the ball, the spiky ball guy, like walnut bowling. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's he's good, but there are some bad ones, as you can tell. Um, all right, this guy, this guy is the please do. Actually, I'll put it in here. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have like way more health and toolnut, but its damage is pretty good when you know zombies touch it. Of course, this guy is. Um, I mean, it, it's a thousand wannabe, and I wouldn't call it the best, so. Just put it over. Um, yep, just put it over. Nah, 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 no! Oh, yeah, it should be over there. I mean, it's just thousand, but weak, I guess. Sun P is, is a very interesting one. It used to be very OP because of how much sun it gives you. But now Tom nerfed it, but it, it's still not bad, to be honest. I'll put it higher than these two, though. Uh, yeah. Actually, you no. Know, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, Lava Guava is. Please don't nerf me, tier list. It's good. Really good damage. It's really good. Uh, that's all I could say. It's like the original. It's like the PvZ2 one. I don't think it even had nerfs or buffs. It was just good. Nah, this guy, um, this, he was interesting. I'll put him over here. 
it, it's, it's a bit different, like, he attacks, like, backwards and sideways and stuff. It, like, he attacks backwards and, you know, just, ta he attacks, like, like, left, yeah, he basically attacks left and right, and, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a good plan to be, because damage isn't really that promising, so, yeah. Pepper Paul, I don't find him useful at all, like, Seems like the Frostbite Cave Plants is actually the worst one of all time. Like, look at it. I, I, I think I was pretty disappointed with Frostbite Caves, to be honest. But I, I'm not. I don't think it's that bad. It just had some weird flaws on like all the other worlds. I mean, there's just better options out there. The Fire P. The Fire P. Just use him instead, not him. Um, wait, what happened? Get over there. Okay, so um, Chomper is actually pretty good. I'll put him over here, um, it's not bad, I mean, I think this guy over here is better, but, so yeah. Uh, this one from also Neo Mix like Tor is, um, uh, okay. You have to time it right, and uh, it's pretty hard to actually time it. Cactus is actually not bad. I'll put him over Snapdragon, I just wish these two. Actually, no, I'll do it like this, um, it, it's strike through. I mean, yeah, that's what makes it good. Uh, this guy, do we really need another one of these? Because, well, I do think he's actually, actually, you know what, let me just put him over there. Yep, yeah, that's right. This one's another one. Why is there so many flowers or wannabes? This guy is actually worse than the, the leaf, so, and the blueberries, so, I'm gonna put him over here. Alright, this one's actually bad because um, it has bad damage. Basically, it's, it's, it's the Ice Queen. Primal Pea Shooter is good. Um, I'll put him over. Yeah. Um, wait, let me just figure this out. No, uh, what could it be? I could. Um, yeah. <laughs> Problem is that it, it, don't don't put too many of these guys. I don't recommend them being like your main attacker. Primal Walnut was pretty useless because it was basically it, instead of being fast recharge and not the best Walnut health, it's basically just trying to be Tornut but t just a little bit cheaper. So it it it's garbage because that's the dumbest idea I ever heard. But it's definitely one of the best garbage if you tell me. Basically, it's good. It, it, it's really good garbage. So yeah. All right, this one, Master Grave, is quite interesting. However, I don't think he was the best. I mean, his plant food's actually OP. Actually, I'm gonna put him in. Yeah, let me. Yep, that sounds right. Well, not really. Wait. All right, there we go. Now I got it. Actually, no one. Wait, why is Red Stinger here? Red Stinger, you're gonna go right there. Peter, you gotta <laughs> go right there. Yeah, just like that. Um, Primal Potato Mine is actually pretty good. I'll put in a bit higher than regular Potato Mine, so yeah. However, it doesn't do splash damage, so I'm actually gonna put him a bit. Yeah, it, it, actually, in in it, it's garbage. Fix it. Actually, no, it's more like a bad. Um, I'll say the same thing. That's a bit unfair to be honest. How I treat these two. All right, this one's um okay. It's so, okay. I mean, I get, I get. It goes through three zombies only. It was interesting, but it wasn't really that powerful. Cold Snap is bad. It's, it has horrible damage. That's all I could say. Primal Sunflower is. Please don't nerf me. Actually, no. It's gonna be in a good tier. What could you say? It's actually pretty powerful. Uh, maybe the... Nah, I'm gonna keep like that. Now, Gatling would be... Good tier. I guess it, it goes well, especially with Wildfire over here. Now, this guy's stupid. Um, Yeah, that, that, that sounds about... Yeah! Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, garbage damage, it's supposed to heal from tanks, but I don't see it. It just seems dumb, the mechanic. Um, explode or not? 
please don't nerf me. Cherry Bomb and plus Walnut is good, of course, so yeah. Hill Mado, I mean, why? Why do we need this? I mean, we got him, but honestly, I don't really see these two healing. I mean, I guess they are, but they probably do so low. Bamboo Shaw, he got a nerf, but he's actually still good. So I'm gonna put him in. I'm gonna put, him, put you like. Yeah, that sounds right. Not bad. Um, Wildfire is amazing. It's very powerful. I mean, has, I mean, yeah, it has pretty bad recharge as expensive, but it makes sense why. Doom Shroom is the best. Cheap event cherry bomb, better recharge than cherry bomb. Yeah, as you can tell, it's too powerful. I mean, uh, it's kind of weird to rank this because the point of it is just supposed to give you coins. So I'm just gonna put it over here. Uh, Plankton, I mean, um, it's the, the only point of it is Steam Age, but it, it's better than Great Buster and the other, so yeah, I'll put it for that. Maybe I'll put it for Hive and Sunflower for that. Electric Pichu is bad. What you repeat is actually better than him. Such a shame. It's basically like laser beam, so there's really no difference. Um, all right, this one over here, the mist, the mist guy, the mist guy. It's not bad. It, it's good, but there's better ones out there. All right, this one's kind of garbage. Yes, it is garbage. It, it needs to fix it. It needs fixing. Dino's kind of more of a bad actually. Mm, actually I'll just put yeah, that sounds right. I mean that's another one that needs a buff I guess. Um Gold Bloom is <laughs> is a scam. It is actually the what it costs three hundred sun and gives you three hundred sun. That's actually useless. Oh the crocodile he's the best. Good be good best recharge uh, really good recharge, really good sun cost, and when and it's really good. It, it's like, it's like as if, and you could spam this guy. I mean, his damage when you know when the zombies touch him, he deals like a lot of damage on these zombies, and it goes through, it goes like strike through. It's the best plant in the entire game. B shooter is right over actually yeah it's not great it was a scam it, it even get even gets killed by its own bees oh yeah do you know this guy can avoid like um, bullets and cannons and even bees yeah that's crazy that makes it even better now this guy i call him gunter for some reason maybe because of adventure time i'll put him the good tier actually okay um it, it's just chomp up a better this guy is um i mean it exists. Where, where's Hill Mado? Oh, there he is. Because I put him there. Well, maybe there, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's Hill Mado, but as a plant that just stands there and keep you healing. This one's. Wait, where is he? Oh, okay. So this one is. Please don't nerf me. It deals a lot of damage. It's really good. Tree Guy. Tree Guy is the same. No. He's the worst, please don't nerf me. He's really good. When the zombie just eats him, they, they die. Oh, I explode that spell. What's the point of using it? But oh, this guy's a little cheerful, but. Because I put him a good tier 4. Yeah, that. And the pear guy is. Um, okay. I mean, I used him, he didn't even do much. So, in fact, I'm gonna go put him over here, so. Yeah. Alright, this guy is really good. Tr like, lich, like, 100%. Like, like it's like, kind of serves as a defense, but, um, he, he, he just shoots fire, and, you know, it deals a lot of damage on the zombies, and, you know, as you can tell, it's pretty good. Ice Queen is garbage. Actually, no. Right over there. It can't defeat Temple Guardian at all. Please. Oh, okay. It's going to ice pee instead. Uh, I mean. Is <laughs> the ice queen pee is losing it? Oh, what? Wait, what? 
It's more expensive than Citron, so uh, that's weird. Uh, the slowness, slowness doesn't even make a difference, I think. Alright, this guy, it's basically um, this is the white flower, but worse, so. Fail to defeat Temple Guardian, so I'm gonna put him in. Okay, this one's pretty good. I'll put him in here. Basically, it's Tangle Kill, but it attacks both sides, I guess, and yeah, it's just good. You can place him anywhere, so it's pretty OP. We got Goku Flower, it's actually not that great, so I'm gonna put him right here, and basically, it just shoots two balls. I guess it does do some damage, but you know, not the best. Runner P is. Okay, got nerfed. It's bad now, to be honest. This is just better ones. Even repeal would be better. Shower mines, good. Faster recharge, a little bit expensive. Small well, twenty-five some more of it, but yeah. Viking Vines is basically Grave Buster, but a little bit better. So yeah. And now that is my tier list over there. I'm gonna do this so. Yeah, bye. Wow, that took 25 minutes? What?